What's up everybody? It is week five of The Bachelor. I can't believe we've made it this far. This is awesome. I am so excited. I'm actually dead tired. I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, I'm dying right now. <laughs> I'm in like full Olsen, Olsen twins eyes right now. Um, bags for days, girl. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and um, it ain't pretty. <laughs> Woo! So it's so funny to me because I was at this like uh, city commissioners meeting and I was literally like looking at my watch and I was just like, oh, it's about to be seven o'clock so I gotta go to work. <laughs> and I literally meant I have to go watch The Bachelor. So, um, priorities, am I right? <laughs> and before we dive into this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe because every single Tuesday at 7 a.m. Central, we have a new Bachelor Nation video recapping what happened in the prior episode so make sure you guys you know get all into this because we love the channel we post every single day on this channel my name is AJ so if this is your first time seeing us on the channel what's up I have dogs there's some dog content on here we have some music content there's just a bunch of stuff on here so let me know in the comments down below if it's your first time here if you watch The Bachelor because I mean obviously you clicked on this video so you must watch The Bachelor and you're just you know trying to get some gossip or something um but yeah go ahead and like and subscribe this video and um let's see what happened in this week's episode so we left off last week with no rose ceremony just with a to be continued which I hated. I did not want to be left on red like that. So Nicole and Onyeka were still fighting. Basically, Colton was just walking on the beach, being emo, which same. Nicole basically wanted to continue the fight and just like keep going. And so they just like fighting back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. And it was just like a whole thing. Onyeka decides to like then go back into the group and like take it all up a notch. And I'm just like, send them home, send them home, send them home. Send them home. So this is one of the first weeks because of last week's to be continued that we start a week with a rose ceremony. So there are seven roses total, which means that two girls are going home. My first thought is, why the hell is Karpa still here? Like, I seriously thought that Karpa was going to go home weeks and weeks ago. Like, I just didn't see her at all staying this long in the competition. But okay, good for you, Karpa. Get your dental hygiene on, girl. You want to clean them teeth? go for it right and my second thing was Sydney was the one that got the last rose this week and then that left our two girls Onyeka and Nicole to go home yes thank you loud finally yes finally at this point I was like you know I'm over this Colton's over this Bachelor Nation we're all over this drama at this point we had a whole week of just like being left with this whole tension and they just like ended it right here at the beginning of this episode and I was very happy with this because again that's what I wanted I wanted them to just end it there but again for all you hardcore Bachelor fans that are much more hardcore than I you know that this is not the last you'll see of Nicole and Onyeka they are gonna be on Bachelor Paradise or whatever the spin-off show is called I'm sure we're gonna see them there because um that drama was like their audition sizzle reel basically to get them on that show so I think that they will um they'll get on so if um Nicole wanted to get out of Miami I think she did it. So now from Thailand we go to Vietnam so our girl Hannah G which is one of my top two gets a one-on-one -on -one date. So they end up having a spa day and they get wrapped in like banana leaves and Colton's like, oh, we kind of look like sushi rolls. And then like to the camera, he's like, oh, it's definitely a sushi roll I'd eat. And I was like, Colton, Colton, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So then no surprise, because again, this is one of my top two girls, His the rest of his date with Hannah was the same as it was with Cassie last week basically just making out in different locations the entire rest of the date. So again, final two girls, all they did was just basically just make out. So Hannah G and him were just like <laughs> macking on it. <laughs> That's a weird way to say that, huh? Okay, so then we get the card with the group date and everybody's on the group date except for Kerpa, which I'm like, again, so confused about so then that means that Kerpa is getting a one-on-one -on -one? what why how I don't know I'm questioning everything does she like have like a personality that we're like not ha we haven't seen yet that we're not aware of I guess we'll find out later in the video when we get to what her date was like I guess we'll see we'll see <laughs> but basically it's so funny because 
when the group date gets announced, Demi starts crying, Sydney starts crying, I start crying, Bachelor Nation starts crying. It's just like, why is this happening? Why? Why is this a thing right now? Why? Why? So we go on this group date and basically he has them, Colton has all the girls um, sparring each other so they're fighting, they're doing a bunch of things. It's boring, blah, 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 all this stuff could literally, we could just cut the group dates out and just get to the drama. I would be so happy. You could save some time. I would just, I would be so content. You know, and I watched this episode a little bit later because Shane Dawson posted his video and I had to watch that first before The Bachelor because I have my priorities straight in life, okay? I think, I think I have my priorities super straight. Conspiracy theories, Shane Dawson, in that order. I'm so sorry, Shane, but that's, that's my order because... I'm a loony too. Them fighting, the only good part of it, honestly, was Demi had to square up, which I've been like, ooh, let me see this bitch square up. Let me, let me, let me see this bitch square up. And she couldn't square up. She couldn't fight worth a crap. She just started getting her ass whooped. And I was like, I knew it. I fucking called it. This bitch cannot fight. She's just all bark, barkity bark, bark, and she could not fight. And I was just like, so like, man, catch this bitch in the streets. Kitchen in the streets. Man, I'm a catcher. I'm a catcher out here in these streets. Who you think you're fighting? So as we get into the later part of this date, Sydney goes to talk to Colton and basically says, you know, I don't like the girls that you're choosing to spend the bulk of your time with. Essentially saying that I think that I'm so different than them and they're a little dipsy and shallow, which, hello. <laughs> They are. And she says, you know, if that's kind of what you're going for, I don't think we're going to be a good fit. So Sydney then decides to say, I'm going to go home. And I then start thinking, is Colton now like the most broken up with Bachelor in history at this point? <laughs> because I feel like more women are breaking up with him than he's breaking up with women at this point. Can we keep a counter on that? Chris Harrison, I know you're watching this. I know you're one of my subscribers. Um, can we keep a counter on how many women are breaking up with Colton instead of Colton breaking up with them at this point? Because I'm not entirely sure of that number. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Get back to me. My DMs are open. Thank you, Chris Harrison. Just slide in. Just... <laughs> So whoop on in. Thank you. Thank you. That sounds like I'm hitting on Chris Harrison. I'm not hitting on Chris Harrison. <laughs> I want to apologize for that right now. I'm sorry. I don't need a restraining order again, okay? So that brings us to Kerpa's date. I mean, I guess it's a date. I'm not gonna give it air quotes. It's a date, okay? There's Teddy. Teddy makes an appearance in every video because I film these at night and he's my sleeping buddy. <laughs> I honestly believe this is the most I've heard Kerpa speak and Colton was really feeling her, but honestly, for the bulk of what they showed, all she was doing was mirroring and like affirming everything Colton said. So she's basically like a yes woman. And so I was like, of course you're gonna love her. All she's doing is repeating and regurgitating what you're saying to her. So like, of course you're gonna love that because it's like a mirror. <laughs> and it's like, you know, when you have like a bird and it's like into a mirror. Mirror to a mirror. That's what it was like to me, essentially. And then we find out that Kerpa was engaged to a virgin and they're like, whatever. And he ends up giving her a rose, which I don't get it, but okay. Um, so Kerpa gets to stay another week, which is like, why? I mean, you do you, Colton. Uh, Kerpa's getting cool vacations and, and like gets to be on TV and like away from the dentist office for a little longer. So Cool beans, man, right? Cool. Right after Colton and Kerpa's date, Hurricane Demi gets to a category five and she goes hunting for some dick. <laughs> I wrote that down because that's what I thought when it was happening. And as I said it, I felt so stupid because in my head, I was like, she hunting for some dick. And now saying it and putting it on camera and leaving it in the video is so stupid. I want to apologize. <laughs> But I'm leaving it in. It's fine. She's going, she's going dick hunting, guys. We don't do ducks. We do <laughs> I'm composed. I got this. Basically, Demi says to Colton that she's falling in love with him. And from the second Colton goes, wow, I really appreciate that. I was like, oh, shit. Like, he ain't feeling this shit. Which I'm like, finally, at least he's smart enough. Like, he really was just keeping her because the producer said to keep her. Uh, cause she had really good like one-liners and like taglines and all that kind of stuff. And he basically said like, I can't put you through a rose ceremony because I don't feel the same way. And I already know that like, I'm not, I don't feel the same way. And so he sent Demi home, which is like, 
The moment we've been waiting for. Demi went home. Or we sent Demi home. We sent Demi home. Demi went 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 home. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Demi went home. 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 He sent her ass home. So after my celebration and um, and everything, the show showed her getting a little bit vulnerable and um, crying and a bunch of this other stuff. But like, really, she was speaking pretty vulnerably. And um, I started to see her as a um, human. And I felt bad for all the comments that I've made about Demi. And I saw her in a new light. And um, so yeah, I'm just gonna ignore the fact that I've said these things and just now had a celebration and left that in the video. Um, moving on. Sorry, Demi. <laughs> so basically, Colton killed Demi. I mean, that part of Demi, the evil villain part of Demi. So I'm thankful for it. But he killed Demi. Then we go to the cocktail party, and everyone's like, we really need to make this work. We need to make this work. Um, and then Chris Harrison comes in and goes, hey guys, Colton knows what he's going to do. We're not going to have a cocktail party this evening. So we go straight into the rose ceremony. So as we get into the rose ceremony, we already know that Sydney has gone home this week, and Demi has uh, been sent home this week by Colton. Uh, Sydney decided to go home on her own accord. Um, and so the person that is sent home this week is Katie. Katie, I like Katie. Katie was cool. Like, why not send Kerpa home? I like Katie. Katie was cool. She was a real one. And like, she had an emotional goodbye. So basically, that's everything that happened this week. Next week is the week that pretty much everybody's been waiting for. It's the week that Colton is gonna jump that fence. I really, really hope that they leave in Chris Harrison trying to jump the fence and failing, at least at the end, because Colton said that that happened. And like, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that to happen because I just feel like that would be hilarious if like Chris Harrison trying to do that jump right after and like failing would just be funny. Um, come on ABC pull through for me. And then they showed some like really long parts of it. It kind of showed a clip of what it looks like Cassie crying in the back of one of the cars and it implies Cassie being sent home and I almost cried because I was like not one of my top twos. Like I think Cassie's gonna win. I think Cassie's my top one. And I was like you can't send Cassie home. My, not my Cassie. That's my Cassie. I know Cassie's like on another reality show right now that was filmed much earlier, but you can't send my Cassie home. Like, I think they're trying to do this for ratings or something, but you still can't send my Cassie home, okay? So that is literally everything for this video. Again, please like this video. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe to this channel if you guys want to see more from me in the future. I would love if you guys stuck around. We have new videos on this channel every single day, hitting you guys at 7 a.m. Central. So there's some puppy content, there's some music, there's more Bachelor Nation videos. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see something in particular, and I will reach out to you guys. You can follow me on all my social media at HTXAJ, and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!